the program basically composed of two, three parts, three major functions. Uh, the first one is process data, then it will find the position, then it will draw the ball. So uh, because the data from from the accelerometer is um, it's it, it give you numbers and those numbers are represented by millivolts, which you have to uh, process it to to some kind of sensible data that we can use. So the first part of the processing data is basically take the um, the readings and uh, process them into angles. But right now, because uh, the lack of tech technical definition for the accelerometer, we use the set of um, definition that we find online and uh, come up with a set of angles that that's wor that's working. But the n the angles has to be recalibrated, and the positioning part is going to do this. It's ba basically um, at first. What I did is to measure every every uh, position, uh, every extreme position, for example, 90 degrees or 180 degrees, and uh, take the readings and then map them out. After I map them out, I start with the pos uh, finding position function. What, what it does is basically try to locate which uh, row and which column the LED should be light up. So after find the position, uh, what, um, so before in the process data part, it used uh, our cosine function to get the angle. And right now, what we did is at first we get we get the three readings like uh, the angle for x and for y and for z, and then we process them into. Uh, since since the display is a uh, eight by eight display, we process them into a number either one or two or three or four or five or seven or eight, and then we use a a cosine function to calculate which one we should use since it's mapped uh, mapped onto a circular position. So after I find the position of the data, like which row and uh, which column the LED should light up, I began to use a function to draw the ball. The ball is consists of four LEDs light up at the same time. So uh, it, it, it is a little bit compli complicated because uh, it, you have to consider the whole eight columns of LED to be connected. So when the LED goes to seven, num number seven starts from zero, which number seven is the last LED. Uh, uh, LEDs at number zero should be light up at the same time, but uh, the problem is a little bit complicated, but we figured that out. And uh, if the position, the, the balloon, goes to the top of the LEDs, which starts from zero to seven, the LEDs, um, that the balloon, the four LED that's supposed to light up doesn't go through at the, at the beginning, but right now they're working out, so that's the part we did. And uh, at last, there is a test program basically light up uh, each, uh, light up one LED on each row, and uh, it's uh, gonna try to test, see if the lines, the rows are connected. We only use this when we try to debug the whole umbrella. For the socket part, um, we used uh, 8 by 8 LED. So it's 64 LED and um, we do it horizontal and vertical. Um, it just end up like a web like this. After that, we have the solar arm. Um, and, 
and after that we have to connect all the wires from the top to the bottom because uh, the Arduino is on the bottom and also the, the sensor. So just that. You don't have to shake it, just uh, chill. Yeah, um, for us, kind of heavy, but it was fun to play with. Like, it gives you something to do when maybe when it's really rainy. Yeah, cool project. Play with it and make yourself more interesting while you're walking alone or something. 